Hey guys, just wanted to show you a package that I got yesterday in the mail. I've already opened it because I was too excited not to just go ahead and open it yesterday when I got it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what's inside. This is how it came. This is the envelope it came in. It came from Gearbest. I ordered these about three weeks ago. It took them three weeks to get here from China. Um, not terribly bad considering shipping was free. But yeah, there are three knives in here. And if I can reach around this tripod, will not show them to you. They were all just in that little envelope, but they all came in perfect condition. Can't complain. But yeah, these knives, I know some of you are gonna have seen before, some of you might not have seen them before. I know the Harns is one brand that isn't as popular as the Gonzo or the San Renmu. But um, this is just gonna be my first impressions on these knives. Um, I can tell you already, I like them all. Um, they all have little quirks, they all have little I mean, I guess issues, but I love them. Just overall, I love them. So let's move these out of the way. We'll get started with the Sanren Moo. Just slides out, you got some information, quality guarantee, made from a special type of steel. I know Cutlery Lover, Cutlery Lover, if, if I mess his name up one more time, I swear. Cutlery Lover uh, thinks this is hilarious, and I, I do too, I have to admit, I read things as well. But it just comes in this sort of blister pack. And if I can get it out, there we go. This is the knife. It is much smaller than I anticipated. And I mean much smaller than I anticipated. My hands are pretty large. And it's, it's a relatively small knife. I don't really know what I was expecting. I should have looked at a ruler, but um, but yeah, um, that doesn't mean it's not usable. Very fast deployment straight out of the box. Now I haven't adjusted anything. I haven't lubricated or oiled anything. That's just how it came. Um, in my opinion, the blade is pretty much perfect. It is a hollow ground blade, um, razor sharp, razor razor sharp straight out of the box um it will definitely cut paper easily frame lock um i don't know if you can tell or not but the frame lock is a little late in my opinion but it's an extremely extremely solid lockup i mean there's no movement backwards forwards up or down side to side anything just extremely extremely strong and the centering is pretty much perfect I mean, if, if it's off, it's off by just a minute amount. Very solid built knife, not very heavy at all. Easy to carry. I love the pocket clip. Um, it's not too strong, not too weak. Um, but yeah, awesome little knife. I'm loving it. This texture right here is interesting. I feel like you could almost use it like a fingernail file. <laughs> but um, great knife. Lefties. They didn't leave you out, but they did with a pocket clip, ambidextrous thumb studs, and it feels pretty good either way. I'm not a lefty, I'm a righty, so you'll see me fumbling for that. But yeah, I love this little knife. And it was only about seven fifty, eight bucks. So yeah, awesome little knife. Moving right along to the Gonzo. This is boxed up much nicer. Um, presentation is a big deal to them apparently. But you've got two boxes, and uh, this was in a little plastic case. It's up under there, but it also comes with a little drawstring bag, which is sort of velvety. Feels a little plasticky on the inside, but it, it fits the knife perfectly. Just uh, goes right in there, and you drawstring it up. But. This isn't about the drawstring bag, this is about the knife. Who am I kidding? This knife is extremely well built. It is extremely heavy. I'm gonna try to flick it. I don't know if I can. Eh, eh. Move those out of the way a little farther. It is a huge chunk of steel. Huge chunk of steel. Um, the blade is extremely thick. Much, much thicker than the Sanren Mu. Um, get that back out here. I'll show you much bigger than the San Renmu too. I mean, just massive, massive. Um, 
Let me see. I can't remember the model numbers of these. This is the G720B for black. Yeah, that's the model on the Gonzo. Um, again, 7010 on the San Renmu. Just love this knife here. I just, I just can't say enough about it. But this one, this one's pretty awesome too. Um, came very, very sharp, straight out of the box again. Um, nice blade shape too, nice grind. Um, it is flat ground. Um, and it has the axis lock. Uh, out of the box, this one's not as smooth. Um, it's a little tighter. Feels like it hasn't been oiled as well, but it, it's, well, should I say it's smooth, but it's stiff. Um, gonna have to loosen it up, oil it up, do something. But uh, it'll flick out with a little wrist action. The jimping feels really good too, by the way. It almost looks pathetic when you do this. You're looking at it, and it's like, there's not enough jimping there for anything. It's, it's actually perfect. Perfect in the hand. Um, 440C stainless steel. You can see right there. Yep, 440C stainless. And the axis lock is actually good on this model. I've seen some reviews where they say, you know, it, it goes all the way to the top and it doesn't lock in well. Um, not on this one. There is zero blade play. And the axis lock is a little early. Um, so it's got room to move and break in like that a lot. The G10 feels awesome. G10 scales. And again on this one, centering of the blade is, oh, if I can get it at a good angle, pretty darn dead on. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is pretty dead on. Again, ambidextrous thumb studs. So lefties, you were included. Also, you can move this clip. Um, little glass breaker down here on the bottom if you have type of screwdriver. I think you could probably use snap ring pliers for that um, if you had a pair that you didn't really care about breaking the tips off of. But yeah, overall extremely solid built knife, heavy knife. I love heavy knives. You're going to see a lot of them. I know a lot of guys on here don't like the heavier knives. I do. Partially because I have really big beefy hands and uh, they just they just seem to fit. Uh, I love it. That is a beautiful fit for me. Um, very comfortable fit too. But yeah, the Gonzo G720-B. Love it. Love it. Um, yep. So, moving on. Let's get this out of the way. The last knife I want to show you guys is the Harns. Let's see, Harns Knife and Tool. Handy for life. Hardy for survival. This is the Harns Viper. CK 6015. It's not going to focus on that, sadly. See. Yeah, there we go. Viper CK 6015 Plain Edge in 9CR18 MOV steel. Forgot to mention, I think the uh, San Renmu is 8CR13 MOV. Um, love that steel. It's one of my favorites. You'll see a lot of it. But yeah, let's open this up. And this is also in the little plastic case here, plastic baggie. But really well done packaging by a lot of these manufacturers and this is the knife you've got a little circular thumb wheel stud um, works beautifully um, flicks the knife open again this one is not as I guess crisp flicking it open as the San Renmu but it's not quite as stiff as the um, Gonzo. It's also not quite as smooth in the pivot. I don't know don't what's going on there. Probably just gonna have to break it in and see what's going on. It does flick open relatively well with just the thumb. But we'll see how that goes from now on. Now the lock. This is my major gripe with this knife. Let's see if I can get a really good hard flick. Even if you flick it open really hard, that lock does not engage very well at all. Um, now, does it feel solid? Yeah, I mean, it's extremely solid. There's no blade play whatsoever. I don't, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Uh, no, I did not have my fingers in the way when I did that. Um, it's not going anywhere. I don't know if this will break in or anything. It's a rather thick um, liner lock here, but um, nice, nice little stop, stop bar there too. But um, I don't think it's going anywhere. Like I said. But it, that just that does kind of 
bother me a little bit. The other thing that bothers me is how thick the blade gets here right at the end of this grind. It's uh, going to make it almost impossible to sharpen all the way to the end of the blade there, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I won't sharpen this one until after I review it anyway, and because um, I like to keep factory edges till I review. But yeah. Also, it's thick. It's every bit as thick as the Gonzo um, until you get to the, the palm swell for the Gonzo. Um, but this is a thick knife. This is a heavy built, well built knife. Um, G10 scales, stainless steel liners. This one, yeah, you can see it there, has skeletonized liners. Um, drops the weight a little bit. Um, still a pretty weighty knife, still a pretty big knife. Very large. But um, it feels a little chunky, feels a little squared off. Not quite as comfortable as the other two in hand. But it is a nice knife. No jimping, but your thumb's not going to slip here. And uh, this, this sort of diamond back, almost snakeskin like pattern to the G10, extremely grippy. Um, I love this knife right out of the box. I loved it when I saw it online. I was like, I got to have it. And I pulled it out of the box and I was like, wow, that, that's just an awesome made knife. Um, and it really is the only thing that's my only gripe about it other than that grind, but a lot of knife manufacturers do that. Um, a lot of extremely expensive knife manufacturers do that. And for $15, I really can't complain. 9CR18 MOV steel. Haven't really played with that steel much at all. Um, kind of interested in it. I love the 8CR13 so much. Um, and because of the way that, that lock is early, it's a little lock stick. Um, also it could be because it's brand new, but you never know. Anyway, overall, I love the Harns. I love this knife. Um, it's not my favorite of the three, but I love it. Um, I love this blade shape, full flat ground blade. Um, nice, nice tip. Really nice tip. Um, I don't know that you could get a much better tip on a knife with stock this thick. It's it's just really nice. Very symmetrical grind too, by the way. Um, very symmetrical. Just a well-built knife, um, in my opinion. For the price, I don't think you can beat it. We'll see how things go as I carry it day to day. I'll be carrying all of these daily. Um, at some point, I'll switch them out. But we'll see. We'll see how they work uh, in an everyday carry situation. But, yeah, so far, guys, I'm loving them. I'm loving them a lot. Uh, Senrin Moose 7010, Harns Viper, and a Gonzo G720-B. Check them out at uh, GearBest.com if you're interested. That's where I got all these. And uh, let's go ahead and subscribe uh, so you can get the latest on the reviews as I do them. Uh, probably in order from smallest to largest. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. Go ahead and subscribe and uh, stick around for the reviews. We'll see you later. Bye.